Hey there, everyone. This is Pastor Dan with First Lions Church, and this is our Friday conversation leading up to our Sunday conversation. This coming Sunday, we will be once again in Acts, Acts chapter end of 9 into 10, talking about how the Holy Spirit is on the move. And initially, he was on the move with the disciples in Pentecost, and then he was on the move with the disciples when they were released from the Sanhedrin because they had been arrested and flogged, and they came back and they saw that the Holy Spirit was there. And then uh, the Holy Spirit came on the Holy Spirit came on the, the, the believers in um, Samaria when Philip went and shared the gospel there. And here we are with Cornelius. Cornelius is a Gentile who is part of the Roman um, the Roman army, and he's a leader of a hundred different people in the Roman army. They, they considered him a centurion, and he had a vision that that God wanted him to call and learn about. Who Jesus was and he was supposed to call for Peter. Peter had gone to Joppa to, to do some things there and and the interesting part about this chapter 10 is that this is a sign that God is interested in all nations and over in chapter 10 verse 35 it clearly says God does not show favoritism but accepts men from every nation who fear him and do what is right. And Cornelius wanted to do what is right, and he feared God, and he invited God to show him, and when Peter showed up, God worked out the details. Now, the interesting thing about the story is that Peter was reluctant because Peter was a good Jew. And as a good Jew, you didn't go to the Gentile's house and hang out. You didn't go over to the, the folks that were Gentile because they were bad people. They were people you stayed away from. But in chapter 10, we're going to see on Sunday how God cleared that up and said to Peter, no, I want you to go. I came so that all nations could be blessed. That's why I said to Abram, through your seed, all nations will be blessed. And Jesus was certainly that seed, and Peter was the gap. He bridged the gap so that he could take the gospel. God wanted him to take the gospel to the Gentiles. And then the Holy Spirit came on them. When the Holy Spirit came on, that was the authenticating fact. And then Peter had the conversation with the folks in Jerusalem. So we're going to talk about how maybe God wants us to reach out to people who are outside of our social circles and that he loves people that are outside of our social circles. Maybe that's a different culture. Maybe that's a different relationship with people. I don't know, but we're going to talk about some of that tomorrow, and I hope you'll join us. I mean, Sunday. Uh, and we'll be in... Acts chapter 9 into 10, looking at Cornelius and how God is moving uh, through the Gentiles and how he wants us to throw off some of our stereotypes about people who might not say yes to the gospel and pursue them because maybe God wants you to be that person who reaches across the aisle to people who have not yet heard Jesus. Come on Sunday, we'll talk more about it. God bless. This is Pastor Dan. First Line Church is a great place to be.